Yo, what's going on? My name is Chase. You're now tuning in to test our YouTube channel. We showcase this my life, the things I'm passionate about, and what Arkansas has to offer. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can be a part of the driver squad. Make sure you like this video because if you didn't know, once you like this video, you let everybody know on YouTube that this channel is valuable. Share this video with your friends and family members and let them know that chess where is popping. Let's get on today's video. Nah, for real. I pull on no star for real. I hop in the whip and take off, you know, my mom. Driver Squad, what's going on? Chase Ray back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, it's time to cancel. It's time to sell because uh, the stock market is kind of about to crash again. But we're going to talk to, we're going to talk more about that. If you want to learn more about turning fit, fit, fit uh, if you want to learn more about turning $50 into $8,140, hit my DMs on Instagram and be like, Chase, I would like to learn more about the smart money matrix system and I can give you all the information moving forward. But let's continue to talk about the stock market. Put y'all up on the screen. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's look up some United, United States it clock this was this is what's alarming right now so United States right the GDP ratio you want it close to zero as possible that lets you know how well the economy is going or doing so right now this is where our debt is right now. On average, this is how much debt every citizen accumulated so far. 81,000. So, I mean, you might not even be close. You might not be, be close to this number in debt. But on average, per citizen, is that number. So that means everybody that went to college all around the United States it boosts that number up. Debt per taxpayer. So that means out of all the years that we've been living, we are still in debt as a taxpayer. That's crazy to me. The spending, we can't control that. The budget, that we can't, can't control that. But our debt to GDP ratio, that's what something that we definitely can't control. But 1960, it was 52%. 1980 it was 34.66 2056 but now it's 136.80 percent that's bad that's real bad and the only reason why i say that's real bad simply because uh what we gonna do you really can't i mean no matter how many stimulus package they keep trying to throw at us, there's nothing to do. That's something, let's go to uh, Weeble. It's time to look at uh, the NASDAQ. <laughs> a little sleepy a little bit. SP. I don't know why I keep doing that. SPY? Mm -hmm. No, it's SPX. Uh, S&P 500. I really don't know. Here we go. Now monthly this is let's, let's get into these months let's zoom in a little bit so judging based off the months you can tell entering this month it was going down and like if you just look at it it was on its way down 
Then it started going back up. This is a this is another bearish candle that's coming up. Stock market is about to crash again. We was going, we was doing good. We was doing good. I just, I just, this is about a week. It was predicting that it was gonna go down with all these bearish candles. Then it started showing a bull candle, it went green. Started giving bull candles and it just started going up. But now, even on a weekly, that's a bear green. On the daily, if you just wanna zoom it out, the lowest, of course, back in February, but guess what? It's on its way again. And if you know anything about patterns, what goes up must comes down. Now let's look at, uh, I don't think that RSI, okay. Yeah, here go to RSI. Right now it's 50.25. I don't know if y'all can see that, but That's also show what the stock market does when it was down. Let's see if I can pinpoint this. Uh, let's put some, we got those indicators on. Look at some boiling, some boiling bars. And let's look at some vertical int. Cause that's also, that's key too. So it's about to cross over. What does that mean when it cross over? That means the stock is about to go in a different way. The stock market is about to go in a different way. Let's go back to monthly. And let's look at what the stock. So it's at 60.88. It's indicating that it's about to go down. The Vortex haven't made this switch yet got a few more weeks and it's going it's going it's going to do what it's supposed to do so everybody that's in their positions be careful um i just want to go to robin hood i mean i didn't have to go to robin hood matter of fact let's just stay in we uh what else is the, the dow jones Because uh, even though it's that high, just take a look at how high it and got, how high it and grew. I mean, it grew a little bit, but it didn't really grow. And it's about to switch, according to the vortex. That's the bottom one. The vortex is is about to switch. RSI is fifty six point sixty eight. It's in the middle. Let's go to stock charts. Cause I think that would be another way for, for me to show y'all uh, DGI. So, as you can just tell, those numbers are lower. They are lower. The RSI, uh, let me change it, that's the daily. Since we're on a free one, it don't let me go past weekly. But on the weekly, it's still not showing no great signs because it's in the middle. The best time was to buy when it was in brown. And it's in the middle, it's trading sideways, and it's indicating that it's about to go down. It's giving us a bearish candle, not a bullish, a bearish. So that means it's about to go down. So y'all be careful. Uh, let me make, let me look at one final thing because I know with this Apple stock split, I did, I did tell my dad get into. Uh, into Apple so 
it, it, it went down after it was booming after the sell-off so I'm it look like it's gonna go bullish just a little bit it's gonna go bullish just a little bit then it's gonna go right back down but it's also indicating that it's gonna go down again so I think I'm gonna have my dad sell Apple stock when I go see him I'm gonna I think I might put him on the camera and we're gonna talk about stocks oh uh, what's something else uh, Walgreens and the only reason why I'm looking at Walgreens because I remember that Walgreens is in the buy, but it shot up a little bit, just a little bit, but it might go right back down because I know tell them what the stock market about to do again. But it's predicting that it's gonna be another crash. Oh, um, I just want y'all to to look over your assets, look at ind every individual. Uh, stock that you are investing in and evaluate your stocks i do have videos on how to read the stock chart how to indicate should you buy should you sell when should you sell make sure you're being patient because buying is easy it's just the being patient part that you gotta you gotta grasp a hold of y'all be careful make sure y'all doing your homework y'all evaluating each stock that you invested in and even though you probably made a few percent, a profit is better than zero and it's better than a loss. And coming up, we're gonna be talking about how to uh, report your earnings on taxes so you won't get in trouble. Uh, but that will be in next month. Uh, I'm about to start HFX real soon. Um, I'm still gonna be looking at some good st some stocks for y'all, but I think I'm a. Uh, I'm just gonna be evaluating the stock market because it's gonna crash again. Election time is getting close and it's gonna do a quick boost and um, then it's gonna drop. So y'all be careful. I know you, holiday season, the gift giving, the all of this, all of this money about to be going around. I just want y'all assets to be protected. Uh, y'all go ahead and sell out, be careful. Uh, if you feel like you need to hold on a little bit longer, do what you got to do. But just remember, a profit is better than no profit. And nothing is better than, it's not better than something. Something is better than nothing. Y'all be careful. I'll see y'all another video. Chase way out. Peace.